DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Hello everyone, so we're just doing a uh, video right now on how to install this uh, little blanket and a bug grill for the car. It's getting a little bit colder right now and it's supposed to be a pretty cold winter up here in Alaska. So we're actually mainly using it for the blanket version so that the car can try and help warm up a little bit faster. So this is a FIA brand and they actually make custom made um, covers for every vehicle. When you go to their website, you have to uh, fill in your specific year and type of vehicle so it matches uh, perfectly to yours. So these are supposed to be a little bit better quality. They do cost a little bit more. Uh, so it comes from Europe. It took a little bit longer to get here um, and was a little bit more expensive than some other versions that I found, but this was a guaranteed fit for it. Um, and it, see, it has both of the versions. It has both the bug screen for summer and the winter screen for winter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open it up at this point. It's a really easy application. Okay, so you do have two different options on actually trying to install this product. Uh, one option is uh, the, the snaps that you're going to be putting on your vehicle. You can either drill them in, and that's what this bag is for, this little baggie. Um, or we're going to go with this one, and this is the little snaps again, but they have the adhesive backing. So you just put the adhesive on your actual um, frame, <laughs> however it's designed to be mounted, and then um, it'll stick that way. So we're going to go for this. I don't want to drill into the I drill at all. Um, okay, so what it advises you do is uh, it advises that you actually start it and do it with a bug screen. Even if we're going to be applying the winter screen after this, it advises that you start with this one. Um, so whatever snaps you choose to do, you're going to go ahead and grab that. Um, so I'm going to take these out. The other thing in this bag is an alcohol wipe. And that's going to help us clean the surface before we actually attach these to it. Um, but the first thing you'll do is go ahead and just dump these snaps out. And it says, uh, calls for you to go ahead and put these snaps in each one of these first. So it's already in place. Uh, just a quick note on this one, if it is a little bit colder and you're trying to do this, uh, we did do this, we put this on our truck last year during the winter and it was already uh, freezing at that point, we already had some snow, so the uh, snaps, the adhesive didn't have a chance to actually dry fast enough or, or and they, they came off. So um, that's the only bad thing. Everything else was really nice about it. Super easy application, very fast application. Um, so now that we have the snaps on there, you'll take your alcohol swab. Um, you can beforehand, if you're not sure where the snaps are gonna be, you can, uh, I'm gonna flip it upside down here, and you can place it on your car so you can see approximately where it's gonna fit. Um, so ours is going to fit right there like this. Um, so it is following the trim piece there. This swab does fold over, so I like to take one side and use it. Uh, gives us maximum usage. And go ahead and start here. It behooves you to uh, clean this as well as you can before you use the alcohol swab. Um, I have more alcohol swabs that I can use uh, just in the house, so I'm not, I didn't clean it before this, so I'm just going with this for now. So just come all the way around wherever your snaps are going to be. Uh, that's why I like to fold it over. Now I'm going to go on the back side, which is still clean, kind of go back over this area with a cleaner portion of the cloth. 
and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side that I haven't used at all and just go over it again. Try and make sure it's as clean as possible. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and come back over this. Uh, it does have the adhesive backing on it still, so I'm gonna put this down and we need to remove the adhesive backing off of each one of the snaps. It's pretty easy. Just gotta catch the edge. There's no pull tab or anything, but again, it's, it's super easy to do. All right, and then uh, they advise using the summer bug screen because it's a little bit more flexible and easier to form on it. So you want to be uh, pretty careful here. I'm going to use my knee on the bottom to keep the bottom away from it. You want to make sure that you're pulling it nice and tight. And then go ahead and stick it down. So that's the summer version here, which is just the bug screen. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't take away from your car too much. Um, and then you'd have to take this off. And then that is um, what the winter version looks like. So it does have these two flaps right here so you can run porridge in there if you need to or if you do want to allow for a little bit of air to still go through um, it has the velcro so you can velcro it back and leave you a couple open windows again has the fia branding here uh, but overall still doesn't look too bad and it's a very good fit according to your specific car so i actually really enjoy this i, I think it's been a very good investment for us especially up with how cold it gets here in Alaska. Um, but it's been really great. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know. Uh, hit subscribe for the channel if you want to see more stuff or whatever I do, whatever projects I end up doing around the house. I usually, I usually make videos of it. So you can follow us that way. We also have a few websites that you can check out. They're linked in the description below. So um, just give us a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. Thank you very much and have a great day. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.